time now to introduce you to a pet in need of a good home. Joining us from Young Williams Animal Center is Amy Johnston. And if you've ever wanted a bearded lady, Marsha <laughs> might just be your dog, right? This is Marsha. What kind um, of dog is she? She looks like Toto a little she bit. She does look like Toto. She's actually a Karen. Toto was a Karen Terrier, and she's a Karen Terrier mix, we believe. Um, she was picked up as a stray. She's about a year old, and she is just as sweet as she can be. She, I mean, she just loves to give kisses and. She's, she's got a roommate, she's got another dog roommate, and they get along beautifully. So a she little dog girlfriend. A little hey, dog hey. girlfriend, yes. So she she's in need of a good home. Oh, she's super sweet. And so what kind of specials do y'all have happening right now at the well, shelter? Well, we still have a number of cats, um, okay. number of cats that need homes. So we're still running our Fall in Love with Cat special. Our kittens are $50, our, our adult cats are 25 mm -hmm. and our senior cats are 10 Okay. So, and then we've got our Santa Paws coming, which is next weekend, the 23rd and 24th at AgriFeed. Um, the sitting fee is free, and you just buy your photographs online. Okay. How much are the pictures? How much are we going to spend if we come out with our pets? Um, I think a minimum of, like, maybe $10. Okay. And does that go to Young Williams? The proceeds go to Young Williams. All of it? Yes. Okay, very good. How many times has Santa been bit? During that? You know, that's a really good or question. Or just harassed? I would say more harassed than bit. Yeah. Um, I'm, I, I was there last year and I didn't see him get bit. There were no incidents? No, no incidents. He came with those big white gloves. So yes. He was <laughs> and he's got the big white beard, so right. we can't get him in the face. He's protected. He's protected. It's a jugular in yeah. the hands. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about Marsha. What kind of home do you think she would be good in? You know, I think she'd be good in any home. I mean, she's very gentle. She's very submissive to people when you, when you approach her. She kind of gets down, but then mm -hmm. as soon as she she thinks you're okay, then she's very lovable. Um, she spent a majority of her day in my office today just kind of get, we're getting to know each other so I could talk about her. And she's just a very sweet, you know, somewhat of a, a, a calm dog for a year like old. Like a lap dog. Yeah, almost. she really is. She likes to be on people's lap. And it's hard because she's so, her coloring is so dark, but I wish people could see her sweet face. I mean, it is just the sweetest little face. And her eyes are just so loving. She super is super sweet. She, she deserves a good home. Will she be good with cats? I'm not sure. Um, typically, little dogs are good with cats, but um, we can always we can always cat test her at the shelter. And I mean, you guys have a lot of cats right now. To we cat do, test her we with. do, we do, and we we know which cats can you know hold their own. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> and you all have a lot of puppies too right now. We do. We have a number of puppies. Um, we've had some litters come back from foster care, so um, we're seeing a, a large number of puppies right now okay. that need good homes. So yeah. And before the holiday season takes off, do you have a message for people that want to blindly get a pet for someone? Um, well, first, we don't, we don't allow anyone to do that. What, what they can do is come and buy a gift certificate mm -hmm. and let them come and choose um, the, the pet that they want because it should be a forever pet. It should be, you know, so, a, an animal that's going to stay um, in the house um, as long as they live. So um, we're, we're very, um, you know, when it comes to that kind of stuff, we, we allow gift, gift cards. But, you know, picking out an animal is not like picking out a car. I mean, right. it, it should be something that's going to fit your lifestyle and your family. Mm -hmm. So um, Group decision, everybody. Absolutely. And, and, we, and we encourage, if you come to, to, to adopt a pet, bring the whole family and, and let the whole family decide on which pet they want to bring home. Maybe it'll be Marsha. Maybe it'll be Marsha. All right. Thanks, Amy. We appreciate it. Thank you. Again, pet adoption at Young Williams Animal Shelter is happening, I'm sure, as long as animals exist on this earth. Yes, I'll have a job. Yeah. The <laughs> number is there on the screen if you'd like to take a look at a cat.